For my YouTube viewers, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And then if you would like to get the sheet music and um, MP3 recordings, you can go to my Patreon account and uh, uh, check in for that. All right, let's get going. Hello and welcome to the September 2020 Celtic Tune of the Month. So this month is a waltz that pro unless you hang around with the Scottish Fiddlers of Los Angeles or listen to them, um, you will not know this, but it's such a beautiful waltz I thought I would share it with anyone. It was written by the director of the Scottish Fiddlers of Los Angeles, Jan Tappan, and she has given me permission to use it for this month's tune. So it's just a lovely tune. It's called A Waltz for Willie in 3-4 time in the key of D, and it was written in memory of Willie Campbell, who was a member of the Scottish Fiddlers and passed away quite a few years ago. Um, a wonderful Scottish man with a very thick brogue and took some time to, to get to uh, uh, hanging around with him to un understand what he was saying. Anyway, so this uh, waltz for Willie was written for Willie Campbell by Jan Tappan, director of the Scottish Fiddlers of Los Angeles. I hope you enjoy it. So the A part again, this is in 3-4 three, three, time, and it is in the key of D, so you want to make sure that your F's and your C's are sharp. Alright, so we're going to start with, we're going to put that third finger on D, and we're going to go three in a row, D, E, F sharp. And then we're going to go D to F sharp again, and then we're going to go second finger to E, thumb to F sharp, cross that third finger under to G, and then we're going to go G, A, D. So let's do that again, starting with D, D, E, F sharp, D to F sharp, E to F sharp, cross under to G, A, D. And now we're going to go B, A, F sharp. And now that thumb goes back on the F sharp, three in a row, back down, F sharp, E, and D. Okay. We're going to move forward. We're going to start again on D, E, F sharp. This time we're going to move our second finger up to A and our thumb to D. Cross that third finger under to E, and we're going to go E, F sharp. A. And then all the way down one at a time to E. And then F sharp to G. And now four in a row from F sharp down to D. Cross your second finger over to B. And then two A's. Okay, so let's do those last eight bars, that last phrase all together again. So again, we're going to start with D, E, F sharp. A to D, third finger under to E, F sharp, A. Now four in a row all the way down to E. I like to put that second finger on that F sharp to go to G, F sharp to G. And then F sharp, four in a row. Cross the second finger over to, it's easier than crossing the thumb over, it's a less, uh, less of a stretch. And then B to A, two A's. Okay, so we're going to do those 16 bars again. So it's uh, each part has 32 bars, and there's not a whole lot of repeat in this. So we're going to do those first two, uh, uh, um, those first 16 bars together. So we're going to start with that D, back to D to F sharp, E to F sharp, G A D, B to A. F-sharp, and then F-sharp again, E, D, E, back to the D, E, F-sharp, A to D, E, F-sharp, A, up here, G, F-sharp, E, F-sharp, G, F-sharp, E, D, down to B, and then two A's. Alright, so now we're going to go on to the second half of the A part which actually is uh, like the beginning, so we go D, E, F sharp, 
D to F sharp, E, F sharp, cross under, so D, uh, sorry, G, A, D, E, A, F sharp, F sharp again, E, D, E. Okay, now here's where we get something new, so we're going to go F sharp, G, A. So three, two, one, finger wise on the harp. Now we're going to go way up here to this D to F sharp, down to E, cross the thumb over to D, and we're going to have D, F, G, I'm sorry, D, C, G. Now you can put your fourth finger on A. I like to drop my second finger to A because I need to put my fourth finger on that F sharp. And we've got three in a row from F sharp, I'm sorry, four in a row from F sharp. And then we've got A, and then down to middle C, D. Okay, so let's do just that, those last um, eight bars together. So starting on F sharp, F sharp, G to A. Up to D and F sharp, high F sharp. And then D. So we, uh, sorry, that was an E, and then we've got a D, C, B. A, and then we're down to F sharp, and then four in a row from F sharp up to B, back to A, and then C, middle C, D. Let's count out that A part. The first two notes are, uh, the D and the E are eighth notes, and they are a pickup, so they start on beat three. So I'll give us one full count in uh, before we start. So here we go. One, Two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, one, two, and three, one, two, and three, one, two, and three. And then on three is when the B part would start. So here is the B part for Waltz for Willie. It is also 32 bars. However, the last 16 bars are the same as the last 16 bars of the A part. So not quite as much to learn here. All right, so we're going to start with our second finger on A and our thumb on B. And we've got to have a whole bunch of Bs going on here. So we're going to go A, and now we've got three Bs in this measure. Two, three, and now we've got another B, and we're going to go B, C, D. And now we're going to go back down to A, A, F sharp to D, and then another D. Okay, and moving forward, we're going to go F sharp, A, B, D. Right back down, B, A, F sharp and then B. Okay, so let's do those eight bars. So we've got A to B, two more Bs, and now we start with B again, go B, C, D, back to A, F sharp, D, another D, go back to F sharp with that fourth finger because we're going to go F sharp, A, B, D, right back down the way you came, B, A, F sharp, and then land on B. Okay. Moving forward, we're going to go second finger to C, thumb goes to that D, back down to A with our second finger, third finger goes to F sharp, then we've got three in a row, cross that third finger under to B and three in a row again. 
back down to A, then we're going to go A, B, D, back to A, A again with a thumb, and then four in a row, down to E. Okay, so let's do that bit again. We're going to go C to D, second finger to A, third finger to that, to that F sharp with three in a row, cross under the third finger to the B, three in a row again, B, C, D, third finger goes down to A, so we can go A, B, D, drop the second finger to A, put the thumb on A again, now we've got four in a row down to E. And then the rest of it is just like the last half of the A part. So we start with that D, D to F sharp, F sharp with the third finger, and then D to F sharp up here. B part together and the first note is a quarter note and it is a pickup so it starts on beat three I'll give us one whole uh, measure counted in before we start here we go one two three one two three one two and three one two and three one two and three the chords for the A part. So we're going to start off with D. You can stay on D or you can go to a D7. Back to D. G. D. B minor. E minor. And then to A. D. Stay on D. A, stay on A, D, G, A, D, D7, D, G, D, B minor, E minor, For the B part. We're going to actually start with this with a G. E minor, D. We're going to stay on the D and then G and A. D, D, G, D. Stay on that D. D, D7, 
G, D, 